Hi, comedian and podcaster Rosie Tran here. I host a podcast called Out of the Box Podcast, and I'm here to tell you how to turn a negative into a positive. So a lot of people think that suffering is a bad thing. They'll go through a horrible experience, and when someone comes along and says everything happens for a reason, you want to strangle them, right? It's like, oh my gosh, I am suffering right now. How can you say that? But actually, it's true. Everything does happen for a reason, and a lot of the negatives in your life are there to teach you a lesson. So um, if you study psychology, there is something called self-actualization, and that is allegedly, right, the top of the pyramid of what we are here to do on this earth is to self-actualize. And that basically just means to learn and grow. So every negative experience that we have is here to teach us about ourselves and help us reach our highest potential. If you study most religions, they'll tell you that the purpose of your soul here on earth is to become closer to God, to be more God-like. And so that's, you know, being more Christ-like, or whatever spirituality you follow. And that means being a good person and that comes about from learning and growing as well. So learning the lessons that are taught to you in life. So I'm going to tell you about a very, very negative experience that I had that I turned into a positive. So I was in a very abusive relationship and I had to take a step back after that relationship and say, hmm, how was I responsible for this relationship? And I want to talk about fault and responsibility because those are two totally different things. So I wasn't saying it was my fault that I was in an abusive relationship. I wasn't to blame. And um, I'm certainly not blaming any victims or condoning my ex's very negative and abusive behavior. But what I am doing is saying, how am I responsible? How was I responsible for this relationship? How was I responsible for seeing horrible red flags and still continuing on with it? And so that led me to understand about myself that I had some dysfunctional and negative beliefs about love. And so I was able to heal those and correct those and not have that pattern in the future. And so now I'm in a loving and wonderful, happy relationship. And I was able to attract higher vibrational, higher quality men by fixing and healing those things. So a lot of times what happens is someone is in a bad relationship, they'll blame the other person, they'll say it's their fault, they were abusive, I'm a victim, I had nothing to do with it, I'm a good person. And you are, you might be a good person, but that doesn't take responsibility and then you keep repeating that pattern. And that's how women end up with, or men, end up with the same type of person being attracted to them over and over is because you'll see those red flags and you'll be attracted to them because of that. And a lot of people feel that you can't control who you fall in love with, right? You've heard that. That's a total false belief. They'll say, oh, well, you can't control who you fall in love with. You just fall in love with who you fall in love with. And that's one of the biggest lies because if you come from a dysfunctional background or maybe you've had abusive parents or abusive people in your past, you will actually be attracted to dysfunction. And so instead of saying, oh, I'm broken, I'm a victim, I have you know, can't control who I'm in love with, you can look at yourself and start to retrain your brain and your emotional body to become attracted to something that is healthier. And so that is the way that you can take a really negative relationship and turn it into a positive by saying, hey, this is horrible. This happened to me in the past, but I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to change my behavior and learn how to become attracted to a healthier, um, more vibrant type of person and not see these red flags and be like, oh, wow, that's kind of, you know, exciting that this person does X, Y, and Z. And so that's a situation where you have full responsibility. But what about a situation where you have absolutely no control? Maybe you're kidnapped or in a war or something horrible like that. You're like, Rosie, how can I turn that into a positive? That's crazy. Well, actually, um, there's a writer, an author, a neuropsychologist, Viktor Frankl, who wrote an amazing book called Man's Search for Meaning, and he talks about this. He is actually Jewish and in a Nazi concentration camp, and he talks about how there's no control at all, but he's still able to find the positive in life by controlling his emotions, by seeing 
how he chooses to see each situation, even though he's in a Nazi concentration camp. And he's not the only one because there's other people in this concentration camp who are able to continue on by having that purpose and by learning and growing from their experience. And he talks about how some people mentally were not able to control um, their outlook and their viewpoint on things. And they, you know, fell to the wayside and suffered even more. And it was a pointless suffering. So by looking at our suffering and saying, hey, it, whether this is a situation that I can control or not, there's one thing in this world that I have absolutely 100% control over that absolutely no one can take away from me. And that's how I view the situation. And by choosing to view the situation as a lesson, as a positive, as a test of our character and as a way to unleash our highest potential and growth, we are able to transform something as heinous as abuse and war and the most negative things you could ever imagine and make them into a positive. So I would encourage everyone to look at all of the negative things in your life. And next time you hear someone say, oh, everything happens for a reason, instead of being like, oh my gosh, I want to kill this person. I'm suffering right now. Say, wait, how can I look at this really awful situation I'm in and learn from it, grow from it, and make sure that I self-actualize by changing my viewpoint and making this into a positive. So I hope you guys take everything that I say to heart and learn to make your lives a lot more positive. Thanks guys. Bye.